What is good people? Welcome back to another video of the Golf Estate. Yes, we are back again with some more progress. We've got loads to do in this vlog. We've got new wheels, we've got new lights, we've got loads of rear parts to unbox, and I may have sold the cabin. But you'll have to watch the vlog. Don't worry about the hair, I'm just washing it at the minute. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this a like and subscribe for more Mark free content. And let's get on with it. Right people, so the scuttle panel is now on and looking fantastic I must say. There is one clip I am missing but I think it's up there in the clip drawer somewhere so I'm gonna have to rummage that another day. Also I've got a clip missing as well. If anybody's got any of these parts as well feel free to message me in the link in the description. I'm always after parts. There's just loads of little things that I'm missing but that looks so much better compared to that. It looked terrible and it's just faded and not it. So yeah i'm happy with the little progress the car is making so far if you haven't already watched the previous vlog we got quite a lot of work done on this car as well so go check that out catch you up to speed on what we're doing today it's gone nah it was a good it was a good decision people but we got rid i took a little bit less than i wanted but with all due respect people Getting the car gone was more of a importance than getting my asking price. Don't want no negative in the comments. It was a great decision for me and now we can focus on the estate. As you've seen, we've already made some great progress on it and the money we've made today can go back into it. So people, no sad stuff and today is all I'm going to be doing on the estate and cabbie stuff. So I will check in with you tomorrow and it's gone this weekend. Ooh, there has been a lot going on. So my birthday was the 7th. Um, I had loads of fun. My girlfriend surprised me with a trip to do some tobogganing. And then we did uh, snow tubing. And then it was something slide. I can't remember what it was called. But I'll put all the pictures in now. It was loads of fun. Once we finished that, family came around for some nice food. And then I did a little bit of progress on this car in the morning, as you've already seen. The Friday... Um, went out for some food with a load of family, loads of friends, um, had a really good time and now here we are. Today is the, where things get really serious because before was like all leisure stuff, enjoying stuff but we are preparing for GTI Spring Festival. I've been going on about it in every vlog. So we're going to be swapping the 17s over today and then I'm going to go drive up to a friend's. When I pick up the tyres from him, he's got an electric pump so I can put them all up to the right PSI put the rear tires on. They did tell me there is a flat spot on one of the wheels and that might be the culprit to why it's leaking. But this is not about talking, this is about getting things done. So we're gonna jack the front up, get these wheels put on and then we'll check in with you in a minute. Yes, people, we are back in the estate. I've got to say, compared to the van, which you'd think is, you know, kind of normal ride height to a normal car, it isn't. I get into my girlfriend's IB, which is not low at all. That feels low. This feels like I'm scraping the sills. It's crazy. <laughs> and it's not even low. It's not even that low. Absolutely love it. I miss this! Oh my god, people, if you haven't liked this video already, I don't know what you're doing, because the estate is back. <sighs> the temperature's okay, we've still got half a tank of bloody fuel in this. Winning. <laughs> oh my god, it's so much faster than the van.
now on. And one thing I noticed um, while it was parked up, it seems as if one of the front sides is lower than the other side. But I don't know if it's because of the way I was parked, it's making it seem a little bit off. I knew the back end weren't as low as the front. What I might do is download a um, app on my phone just so I can check how much camber each side of the wheel is. Um, front left, front right, and then kind of correct it, put it back on. Hopefully that should make it look like it's not as low because I don't recall having low, what are you doing? I don't recall having like low problems on one side and not the other. I think maybe the camber is making it look like it's lower than the other, if that makes sense. But yeah, let's get home and then we'll carry on this progress. So you join me the next morning after GTI Spring Festival. I gotta say, that was an amazing meet. The club stand was amazing, the people were great. Um, I was going around chatting to people and I had a great time. But we're on, on to business people because after I made the decision to put this car back on the road, I've been figuring out what I wanna do with it. After looking at Geordie's estate, you I'll put a picture in that, you'll get a reason of why I want to go to 17s is the reason why I want to go to 17s. I have managed to get a banging deal on a set of wheels. So I'm gonna go over there now, have a look at the wheels, and if I decide to buy them, you will see them in this vlog. Well, you will already have seen this clip anyway if we've bought them. I'm gonna reveal the wheels in the next clip. So enjoy these cinematics. <laughs> wheels have been acquired. What we have here are Kirscher Futuras, which I'm pretty sure in German Kirscher means cherry, <laughs> but it is what it is. These are a 17 by 8.5 ET30, so these should be good for the Mark 3. So the current setup, I think they're ET38 um, and 7 inch. Um, so what we're going to do is just test fit these. This is probably the best test fit on any wheel, on any car I've ever done. I'm not joking. Look at the fitment on that. Jesus Christ. And then from the top, it's pretty much perfect. And then from the front, the front's my favorite. Just dish. Oh my God, no poke at all. And we're not even catching the back. So let me put the light on. So just here, we've got probably kind of two fingers wedged in between. They look hideous on these drums, so I do have to sort them out. But Ben does have a rear disc conversion for me. Wow. <laughs> so after a little bit of messing around, I've managed to get the wheel to sit on. As you can see just here, it is literally touching the coilover ring and then the brakes just there are very very close what i'm going to do people is once i've ordered the wheel bolts and spacers i'm going to test fit it again because as you can see from when i've put them off it's kind of towing outwards that's because it's hitting the suspension Later. i've had to shave down the carrier a little bit are you like people going, oh, you shouldn't do that, it breaks, you're going to break them. No, it's just shaving a little bit of metal down. The Volkswagen don't design a brake for it to be at its limit, so you can shave a little bit, it'll be fine. What I've noticed now, when I put the five mils on, 
um, it was not allowing me enough camber to get the wheel in. So what I've done is put 10 mil spacers on, so I've just doubled up the two fives I've got and pushed the suspension all the way back to the coilover as much as I can and I've maxed out the standard camber I can get. And this, this is pretty much where we've got it up to. So as you can see, it is still poking a little bit. Um, but like I've said, we've reached the maximum camber we can get. Now there is camber bolts we can get, and I believe they just bolt through there, got an eccentric sleeve, and that just pushes it in a little bit more to give us a bit more camber. But as you can see, it is extremely close. I have plenty of time to get this car fixed. In the meantime, I could be test fitting, tweaking the fitment and making sure it's perfect. I don't want to be driving it to where it's, you know, if I carry one more person and it starts scraping, it starts catching the tires on the arch and stuff. I don't want to take it to that level. I want to show you something weird that I've noticed with these wheels. I've never seen it on any other set of wheels in my life. And I used to buy a lot of wheels. So, if you look at this bit, it doesn't seem to look any different. But if we flip it around without damaging the lip, you'll notice there's slotted holes. Now you might be thinking, why would you buy them like that? that? That's just unsafe and whatever. But if you think, it's taken me a while to actually figure it out, but they're multi-drilled and slotted so it, it can fit a range of different wheels. And then you just get these little spacers from Kershaw themselves. And then that will run through, this is a 4x100 one. Um, obviously you can get different setups. And as long as you've got the spigot ring in, that's fine. Very weird and unconventional way of doing it, but I guess it's good because that will fit any PCD without having to put adapters on. Now, I know you're putting them up the front, but that's not actually spacing the wheel any further out the arch. So because these are already quite, you know, dishy, you know, to some cars it might be all right, but to the Golf Estates and stuff, it could be a little bit tight. So the fact that you can run your own adapters without increasing the offset is perfect. Oh, I can't wait to show you this. So this was what I was saying was at the front of the car. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so these aren't Votex, these are Moretz. As you can see just there, Moretz. Um, it has the loom and then both of the lights just like this. One thing I did notice is one of them is damaged, um, but I bought, I bought these off Nick and he's happy to send me a replacement out um, because obviously with them being headlights, I don't really like having broken tabs and stuff like that. I can appreciate they're an old piece, but it is what it is. They're in gloss black, which is kind of the color that I wanted anyway. All the loom is in there somewhere. Let's test fit these headlights, shall we? Because I've been waiting quite a while to get these on, actually. And other than Votex, these are my next best ones. I do love Heliquads, don't get me wrong. But the Moretz looks close to the Votex, so I've got a soft spot for these. <laughs> a little bit froggy oh, I don't know what do you think guys put in the comments down below I'm not so sure I think the heliquad might look better I thought they looked better than that maybe it's the angle Hmm. 
I don't know. <laughs> so, guys, I want you to put in the comments down below. Do you prefer the Marettes? The ones that we've just put on the car, so the what the dual chambers with the clear lens. Do you prefer the dual chambers with the standard lens, which are these ones just here? Or do you prefer the header quads? Because I was hoping to change the front end of the car. And if I'm honest, I was hoping for them to be like, ah, really good, and I was excited, but they look deep, they look okay. Right, I've just had the girlfriend out. She likes them. She prefers them to the Hella Quads and the standard lights because they kind of tie in with the grill, the center of the grill and the splitter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them on overnight and then when I come to them tomorrow after work when I carry on the progress, I'll see what my initial reaction is. Maybe because I've already been disappointed with the wheels that I'm already pre-disappointed. So let's start unboxing all this stuff I need to clear all this out of the way and then yeah this stuff won't let me down so this is what we have people we've got this is a package this is a package those two are separates this and then that and then that so I'll tell you what I'm going to do first I'm going to do this one because this one will make you laugh I'll give you a clue. <laughs> so, if you haven't guessed this already, the Mark III Golf spoiler. <laughs> but this one is for an estate. This one is the Henry Lloyd Yachting Spoiler in Dragon Green. It isn't in the best condition, as you can see. But, I'll tell you what, if you guys can see that from here. This will give you an idea of what it looks like. On the side. Hmm. I've always said I'd rather go spoilerless, but I quite like that one. And it doesn't mean I'll have to drill holes in it either because I can just bond it on. Hmm. What do we think? See, I knew this wouldn't let me down. It's made by Auto Test. I think you can bolt them in by there. This one does have a bit of damage, as you can tell here, it's been cracked. If it's going to be bonded onto the car, you're not going to notice. And then it just wants a little bit of bodywork to kind of hide that. So that is that Henry Lloyd Yachting spoiler. That is now nine spoilers. <laughs> one Vento, one Estate, and the rest are hatchback. And to complement the spoiler, we have the Henry Lloyd Yachting number plate cover. Well, it's kind of the plinth that goes at the top. Right. So I believe this goes like that. No part, part, no part. So it, it makes a little difference. It's not huge because <laughs> this I've already colour coded this, so these don't actually come colour coded if you're not familiar with the Mark III Estates. This tub is actually a black plastic, um, but when I got the car painted, I wanted this colour coded and then I got the door handles all colour coded as well. So this kind of just blends in, but in person it makes a little bit of a difference because this top section is actually deeper. Fair enough. Again, that that could go on, potentially. It depends. Depends how I feel. Ah, so, the chap who sent it me did say he was going to send me some Estonian food. So I think this might be it. Oh yes, yeah, it is. So we have this stuff. <laughs> I'm definitely going to give this a try though. 
my girlfriend loves all that kind of stuff. And uh, rum flavored candy. <laughs> <laughs> Run flavor. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat that while I'm working on cars. And then we have whatever this is. And then English. Kamar bar. I think it's caramel. It's got caramel in it, I believe. So yeah, shout out to you. Thank you very much for the food. We're not quite finished yet, though, so don't go anywhere. We have whatever this is. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. It's something I could put in the estate now. Set holder. Wicked. Is this a Fisher one? No idea, but it's got a genuine part number on it. Yeah, fair enough. They all work. It does tighten up the center console a lot as well because normally there's nothing there and you're just kind of filling the void. But it also makes my life easier when I'm re-trimming. Sound! <laughs> Fair enough, so that's that. I need to stop buying parts after this, people. So if you stop tagging me in things, I much greatly appreciate it. So, what we have here is a complete back-end selection of parts for a Henry Lloyd yachting estate apart from the badges so these are all the main components and we have tailgate piece I can't believe how like heavy this is it's got all the part numbers on all the Volkswagen bits is this bonded on from the back so there's a bolt here just there, there's a bolt, and the other side's broken off. I wonder if you bond these to the tailgate. Hmm. Fair enough. So this piece, again, if you're unfamiliar with the yachtings, goes here, just like that. If I'm being completely honest, I've never been a fan of this part. But it'd be rude not to get this part. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't know. I just don't like how it kind of fits. I kind of prefer it without. So that is with. Without. I kind of like it without it. <sighs> not sure. I'd also need to colour the top bits because I haven't got top textured bumpers. So that's that. We still got one more piece, people. So that is, so far we've got tailgate piece, the spoiler, and then the number plate uh, plinth cover for a yachting. A couple of Estonian goodies. And then we've got the cassette holder as well. I think, to be honest, I'd want the CD one just because I actually use the CDs because I've got a crappy old CD player. These two are both the same part, but You'll, you'll kind of understand when, this, when I show you. We have a set of hella smoked estate rears. Now, if you compare them to the standards, which are up here, let me get them down one second. So that's the smoked. And then the genuine one, without breaking it, is just there. So that gives you kind of an idea of what they look like. I do prefer these but then even the ones on the car are a little bit different because they've kind of got a bit of a crystal look to them I mean the left ones look way more OEM and we're going to be test fitting those um, probably tomorrow as well but yeah what do you think guys there's a little scratch there but other than that with a little polish this should look all right so this one the scratch, you just see it just there. That's not too bad. There is a little bit of internal crack just there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Yeah, you can. But other than that, and there's a couple of cracks down there. Yeah, they're okay. For the price, they were fair enough. 
I really expect I wasn't really expecting mint ones but pretty much this is what we've got so we've got the smoke lights there oh crap I actually forgot about this oh no this is how could I forget this so what we have here is a full set of Pink Floyd blanks all free with a little bit of wear they've been used right here absolutely beautiful oh, I was actually going to show you my dashboard but I can't actually get past go, go this way so on mine because we've got aircon stick the light on because we've got aircon we can only put two on and I'm refusing to delete the button. That's a bit stupid, isn't it? So technically I can only put the P logo and then this one on, because they're actually the same size as the two alarm buttons. I don't really need those. I could kind of hide them somewhere else, but it means that I can't actually use the Pink Floyd. I wonder why. I'd actually, I'd have to figure out which way it goes. I'm pretty sure the Pink Floyd is there. Which means that you could only get these on non-aircon models. Because everything that way is a five-door Golf. And everything that way is different. So, yeah, fair enough. I won't be actually using these then because it won't make sense to make half a kit. Or would it? I don't know. We'll keep them. We'll keep them as spare. Well, thank you very much. You know who you are. I really do appreciate all the parts you've sent over. I did pay, obviously, people, but it's nice to uh, unbox a load of parts for you guys as well because you've been liking the rare parts unboxing. And these are rare parts. There's no doubt about it. You don't see these on eBay every few minutes. So, this... Is what we got today. Henry Lloyd. All the Henry Lloyd parts for the rear, like I said, apart from the badge. Pink Floyd dash blanks. Some Estonian food. And a cassette holder. A lot of things you kind of have to buy and test fit to make sure if you... To actually know if you want them. As with the Moretz. But, I think the ones that I'm definitely going to keep from everything are the rear smoked cassette. Maybe. I might, I might, I might try and swap that for a CD. Spoiler and maybe the number plate plinth. But I don't want to put the spoiler on, and if that gets damaged, then I haven't got a full rear set. I don't know. I know you've still got to get the gear knob surround front splitter. People are going angry at the comments because I've actually forgot something. Apart from the badges, obviously. I don't actually know. I can't remember. I'm not too clued up on the Henry Lloyd stuff, but that's what we've got. What I'm going to do now, people, is go inside. Because I'm knackered. Hey, what are you